What is the FCC ID? The FCC ID is a unique string of numbers and letters that is assigned to a specific wireless device to uniquely identify the manufacturer and the device. The ID is assigned to all wireless devices subject to FCC Part 15 certification. The details of that certification are beyond the scope of this video. The FCC ID is made of two parts, an applicant code and an equipment product code. The first three to five characters represent the applicant. This code is permanently assigned by the FCC for the authorization of all RF devices from that specific company. The second half of the code is the product code. This part of the code is made by the company that made the device. But what does this ID mean for you? It means that the device has been tested by a compliance testing laboratory and is compliant with FCC Part 15 regulations on RF energy emissions. Anytime a wireless device is approved, the application and the laboratory testing results are placed in a publicly accessible government FCC database. Every cell phone has an FCC ID. The ID was probably on the product package you threw away, but that code is also embedded inside the operating system of the cell phone, usually under a section called regulatory labels or similar. It is also frequently located on the physical device under the battery. When you find that FCC ID, go to the FCC website. A link is in the video description below. The search box has two sections, one for the grantee code and one for the product code. The search terms are very particular that you correctly identify the grantee code and the product code. Sometimes you have to type a dash in the code and other times not. Press search and you will be given a list of results. Summary will give you the list of document. If you select detail, you will get a list of PDFs from the certification process. There are approval letters, lab test results, and device photos. In opening up the photos files, you'll find internal photos of all the components found inside the device. There are also external photos and the test results of RF emissions testing. If you're doing research on a specific wireless device, this public regulatory database may be of use. I hope you found this database interesting. Until next time, don't be boring.